The Artificial Intelligence Center at San Diego State is trying to create programs that use AI to solve problems in many different settings. But once the programs are created on a supercomputer, they have to start working on devices that aren't so super. And when it's trained and we're past this development stage, it's going to need to exist on devices that can actually run them but aren't so, you know, they don't take a lot of power or that can um, handle these algorithms. So Qualcomm really fits in in the more of the edge and actually using AI. Qualcomm is pushing the limits of technologies like artificial intelligence. A Qualcomm promotional film featuring actress Michelle Yeoh is the company's effort to try to link Qualcomm with AI in the mind of the market. Don McGuire is chief marketing officer for Qualcomm. He says the coming growth of AI poses a difficult question. With the advent of generative AI and these large language models, people just automatically expect that when they're querying ChatGPT, for example, and these answers are coming back, where is that coming from? How is that happening? Today, it's happening primarily in the cloud, right, at a data center somewhere. The problem with that, he says, is data centers don't have the power and the economic model to accommodate artificial intelligence as its use increases. So really what's going to have to happen in order for this all to work at scale is AI has to become hybrid, meaning a certain amount of computation and behavioral algorithms have to be done on device as well as in the cloud. And that, McGuire says, is where Qualcomm comes in. He says on-device AI not only applies to smartphones and laptops, but to manufacturing programs and to cars. One Qualcomm product for cars is called a digital chassis that includes driver assist functions that fall just short of driverless car technology. We're not at full autonomy yet. But there's a lot of driver's assistance going on in level two, level three, and vehicles from $30,000 all the way to $100,000, like, like lane assist, for example, like detecting if you're sleepy, if you're drowsy, and giving you a notification that maybe you should pull over and get a cup of coffee. Marketing computer chips for artificial intelligence can be a challenge since chips are not the kind of things consumers relate to. But Qualcomm is trying to get consumers who care about technology to become aware of Qualcomm's digital platforms and everything from computers to cars. But someday, ideally as the CMO of Qualcomm, I want a consumer walking into a dealership and saying, hey, is this car powered by Snapdragon? That would be ideal. Thomas Fudge, KPBS News.